So what are your Valentine's Day plans, I, we, Seth? Um, I'm trying to pull them together. I was hoping you'd give me some advice. Do you drink <laughs> martinis ever? I, well, a little, every now and then. Dirty martinis? Sure, if I oh, drank one, it would be dirty. It would. Yeah. But what's the, I see. How dare you guys jump to that <laughs> conclusion? Uh, Want to do that first? Let's yeah, do sure, that first. Let's do that. Okay. okay, so to make the martini, and now you just get the little things to have around, too. Okay, right. Okay, so it's nice to have a martini shaker. Right, of course. So it has ice in it, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. And your martini glass should be filled with ice and making it nice and cold. Gotcha. So this and right now is just water and ice. That's right, that's okay. right. And you don't put that out until you're ready to pour your martini in. Now just hold this uh, and just pour out if there's any water in here. Just, okay. you know, melt, ice might have melted. You don't don't want to dilute your martini. Now, the, now my hand's very cold. Good. <laughs> Two good. ounces of vodka. Okay. So this is a one, one uh, and a half ounces. So just measure it like, okay. And then a splash of vermouth. Do you like vermouth in your martinis? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Just a splash, like that. All right. And then what for is dirty. Is that? Like, just do it. Just do it. Oh, that, that's a splash. Okay. This is, this is a splash for some people. Oh, just like waving it over? Yes, yeah, that's okay, a splash. Gotcha. Those people and are jerks, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy's like, a splash of vermouth, and when I say a splash, just wave the cap. Uh, olive, olive brine. Olive brine? Now, this is what I can't get. Uh, I don't You just put a splash of olive brine. I know. I, I'm going to put a lot, because if you want dirty, dirty, you have to put a lot of olive brine. Now, this seems to be the... New wave of martinis, olive brine. You know what it is? What? It's the juice out of an olive jar. Ugh. You know, these are the olives, and the olives are good, but who wants to drink the vinegary, olivey tasting juice? People will always find a way to give a fancy name to a thing you used to throw in the garbage. That's right. <laughs> They're like, oh, olive brine is available okay. at the high end stores. Now, just, uh, the, or now in do, your your, do your Tom Cruise shake. Oh, uh, wait, like. Like, can I flip it though? It'll come off, right? No, well, hold up. Just hold your finger like there. No, yeah. what I meant, I was gonna like oh. throw it up in the air. That's the well, I, No, he went, you know, he was sexy and funny when he was doing his shaking. I feel like you're setting me up for failure. No! I mean, he was great, whereas you're average. And see, when, when this gets all, all cloudy like that, it's really cold, uh -huh. the ice has done its job. Okay. And then you pour the cold water, preferably into a bowl or the sink, not, right. on, not on the floor. <laughs> right, no. again, now you're and underestimating me. you. Great. Ooh. Now that's, so it has, with the olive juice brine in there, it's sort of like, like a little, like, opalescent. And then you have these skewers. Now how many olives do you like in I, your martini? Oops. You like two. Two? Yeah. Okay. But only to like for the, I don't love olives. Oh, okay, so. You might want lemon peel. Yeah, I think I would prefer lemon yeah. peel. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. That's See, the to best me. martini I've ever had before noon. And, and actually, I don't like dirty martinis. But everybody else seems to. Why did uh, you? Uh, I mean, I like scotch. You don't like these. And why? <laughs> why have all the drinks? It's the we hot thing. Made? Come, this is better. This is better. Okay, A good. white cosmopolitan. Great. But now, does your girlfriend like white cosmopolitans? I, I think she'd probably drink one. Yeah. 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 These are these are really good. So, it again in a in a um, cocktail shaker, two ounces of vodka. We're into the two ounces. Yeah. And this. Uh, Stoli is a good vodka. Yeah, no, it's absolutely. It's good if you're gonna drink vodka. Well, it's Russian, right? Yeah. They and then one ounce of Cointreau. Vodka. Okay. And Cointreau is an orange liqueur that's mm. very tasty. Great. And a half a cup of white cranberry juice. Did you know they made white cranberry juice? I didn't. It's that's like it. yellow diamonds. I had no idea. Yes. <laughs> uh, again, it seems to be the way they invent things these days <laughs> is just find a different color. So now, what are you looking forward to while we shake? Tell us a little bit more about uh, Saturday Night Live. Uh, the election's always fun for us. I mean, oh, what, what about no. the election? Well, Can you make any remarks whatsoever? Who's gonna win? I don't know who's gonna win, but I will, I can't get that off. <laughs> I well. need a drill. <laughs> for real, I can't get this, what is this? Why is not? this one of those joke things? <laughs> Might be. Here's your glass. They have like 
I think I have like otter hands. <laughs> <laughs> like slippery otter hands. Otters. That's like a sexy thing to do on Valentine's Day. I can't open my things. <laughs> now taste this, you might like this better. I think I'm gonna like this better. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's way better. Mm. Rose mm. petals. Oh. Rose petals. Stop that's telling people you nice, and I aren't dating. That's a, <laughs> that's a nice little, that's a little. That's perfect. Mm. Please welcome Kevin Nealon. <laughs> Tell everyone the story of your first kiss. Do you remember? Uh, my first kiss? Yeah. Uh, it was a very sloppy kiss. It was? It was my dog. Oh. And it was just all tongue, <laughs> all tongue. I said, no tongue, no tongue. But, um, yeah. But my first real kiss, uh, I was in a hay hayride, and I was very nervous about kissing the girl. How old were you? I was um, 35. Not really. <laughs> I was probably about 15 or 16. And, um, you were a late bloomer. Oh, I was, yeah, I was very... You were uh, one of these precocious little nine-year-old boys out <laughs> no, there? No? No, not me. Um, but um, I was, the hayride was almost over, and I was nervous. Yeah, and I, I knew I had to make my move, and finally I just, I went in for the kiss, and I was so nervous, I closed my eyes, and I was kissing her, and I think, this isn't so bad. And then I felt something weird in my mouth, and I didn't realize I was kissing her eye. I was, because I had my eyes closed, but I was right on her eye, and her eyelash was fluttering. <laughs> And I thought she had a mustache, it was her eyebrow. I thought, I didn't, I didn't see this mustache before. And, um, and I was so embarrassed oh. afterwards. And she was like, oh, oh. God, my eye is all wet. <laughs> and then I saw her like two weeks later, she well, had a patch on her eye. Do you, do you know? <laughs> We're gonna do chocolate lip ice cream uh, cookies. Would you like those? I love okay. chocolate lip ice cream cookies. And That's so, all I ever eat. So we have uh, this delicious uh, chocolate sugar cookie dough. And it's cold because to roll it out, it's it's quite soft. So if you don't really chill it and put it on a sill pad to roll out, you'll make this a mess. This is like the foreplay. Now I'm just yes. I want to eat this right now. You can have some after we I mean, after can, we cut it out. Can you eat the dough yeah, without, without it being cooked? Of course, baked? of course. Okay. You, you want to leave the plastic on top? Yes, because look. All right. Look how nicely it rolls. No, 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 no. Oh, take okay. It easy. I'm just a little excited. Take it easy. Okay. We want to roll it into a rectangle, as much of a rectangle. This a rectangle. Way. Yeah. That As way, you can. okay. Yeah, you can turn the sill pat and just really roll. Uh, Should I have my eyes closed while I'm doing this? If, if, it, if, it, if it gives you pleasure, definitely. Okay. And we want the dough all the same thickness. See what's happening? Am I hitting it? Yeah, right. Look at it. Okay. And so right. you just uh, It's hard to make it a triangle. Uh, you say a triangle or a rectangle? No, a rectangle. Oh, okay. That's a whole different story right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you want it about, oh, a little less than an eighth of an inch thick. Okay. Okay, but all the same thickness. Very important. Now, what kind of weight do we want this, Martha? No, no, don't press too hard because, see, you're, see what's going? It's all starting to go off. It's still pat. <laughs> so a little more so gentle. The chocolate does this to a me. A little you know gentle, okay. About. okay. So you've, you've appeared. Now, you must have some thing with Adam Sandler. You've appeared in eight of his <laughs> movies, right? I have been in a lot of his eight. films. Eight. So yes. uh, what's your favorite film with him? So far. All right. The well, new one? I'm going to be doing two things at once now. Um, yes, the the new one is the favorite one. I've done a lot with him. I did Little Little Nicky, oh. where I played the gatekeeper of hell. I've, I've seen all his movies. I had a breast on my head in that one. Yeah, lovely. You've seen all his movies? Yeah, I love Adam Sandler. He's very uh, silly. My daughter will not look at any of his movies, but I like him. Can I just touch this and flip it over to make it more of a uh, rectangle? No. <sighs> no, because once you roll it, You've it, done it. It looks like uh, yeah, so E.T. right now. Uh, so now, <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're going to cut out shapes. But Oh, oh, oh but I care. You just want to cover just, some. Now, uh, just gently, just smooth it out all one, one okay. thickness. All just right. go all back right. and forth lightly. Okay. And it'll, it will. There's yeah. no flour involved. Go all the way because... to the end. See that? You're leaving a oh, little yeah. ridge No, I'm going to come back and get that later. No, you have to do it all at once. Okay, there we go. See what I'm doing? I'm feathering so, out the edges. See? So the saran wrap is instead of flour? Yep. Instead of flour, instead of sticking it on the table and breaking it into a million pieces. This really, okay. so now this just goes right into the freezer and you freeze it. So you uh, won't okay. taste the plastic later? No, you take the plastic off, okay. Oh, you take it off before you okay. bake it, okay. So get the idea, it's Got rolled it. out here. Okay. Look how neatly it's rolled out now. See, I told you it would work out. See, and now this is frozen. Now take your, your lip cutters. Now and now we're going to cut as many as we can out of this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm making without... a lip cookies with Martha Stewart. Yeah, it's, you know, just, yeah, close. You know, I used to make donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. Really? Yeah. You no, did For two weeks, I did. You did? Yeah. 
How fabulous. It was great. I made some of the best oh. donuts in the world. I like Dunkin' Donuts, I made Krispy Kreme donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I mixed it up a little bit. They don't let you do that. Okay. Okay, so now so. lift it up with your spatch. Okay. And then you put this now, over here. Now, you said here. spatch. Is that short for spatula? Spatula, yes. Okay. You can abbreviate. Now, I'm touching it with my fingers that are uh, unwashed. <gasps> so just remember, this one is mine. Okay. How many uh, lip cookies can we get out of this? Well, America? that's the whole idea. The more that you can get out without re-rolling the dough, the better. Should we have a contest? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think we have time. But I would like to have that contest with you someday. Where am I going? Well, I'm going. Where are you going? What is your day like today, for it's, example? Well, let me see. Two shows, big meeting, big crisis. What's the crisis? It's not good. No, no, no. This is a no, lip that, from a guy who was in a fight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my lip okay. last week after my like dog <laughs> headbutted me. <laughs> oh, brother. Have you ever okay. been headbutted on your mouth by um, a dog? Not by a person, by a dog. <laughs> No, I can't say that I have been. Okay, so you have to, this, you get the idea about? Yeah. No, no, yeah. Have, don't, don't use the point. Use this side this way. Okay, that, okay. That, you know, just take away the, right take away, no, take this. I'll take away the excess? What, what, you, you, have double, you have double lines here. What'd you do? <laughs> you did something wrong. Um, well, I like to add a little flavor no, to no, it. No, 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 here. And um, go this way. I think your dough, is too, uh, your dough is ruined. Yeah, my. <laughs> you didn't do it. You didn't do it. It has to be colder. All right, wait, okay? I have time for one more. Okay, try to get... I'm going to do a perfect one right okay. here. It's going to make your lips look uh, silly. Okay. Okay, there, there we go. That's good. See? How long does it take to make these, actually? Not long. Would you say the dough, four you hours? Make the dough. Well, you make the dough, you chill it, you roll it out, you chill it, you cut them out, you bake them. So all of that so far is about three hours. The 10 seconds you just told me all that takes three hours? Yeah, about. Okay. Now what's happening is yeah, it's too soft. You, it's forget too it. That soft. Has, if that goes back in the freezer now, without okay. touching it, right, it will be okay. 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 So now take your little sharp knife and you can cut out. Uh, see the see the inside of the lip on the top. Yeah. You have to have because you'll be exposing some of the ice cream in the ultimate. Can I make my lips an opera singer? Anything you and want. And do a big hole. Anything you so a big mouth you mean? Yeah, a big okay. hole. There. Now there's no blood coming out of this one, correct? No, but. You know, you could do it, you know, just, you can do it a little more shapely. You can do anything you want. That's okay. You That's can eat that. Bad. It's good, that right? not bad chocolate. That's very dough. large. Well, <laughs> very large. It's an I told you it was an opera singer. Okay. That's all right. Now I'm going to do one that just talks out of the side of its mouth. <laughs> See, don't play with your food. You know why mom told us don't play with your food? Bake at 350 degrees. 350. Okay. 350. For 12 to 15 minutes. So now we're going to um, fill them with some ice cream. You have strawberry ice cream. I have raspberry sorbet See, ice cream. I'm more of an ice cream fan than sorbet. Oh, okay. Sorbet is just not even mm. dessert. Now use your me. little cookie cutter. All right, take it and easy. And we can't talk too much because, <laughs> I mean, you can talk while you work, but you cannot talk and not work. Oh, I see. Okay, because And how much is, am I getting paid an hour? You're getting a lot. <laughs> you, get, you get scale. <laughs> so then you... Then you nice. See, now turn your cookie upside down. I'll turn it over like this. Yeah, put the so on the solid one. Now, Martha, yeah. what I like to do is I like to grease my finger so it doesn't stick to the... Um, you don't have to. Just you don't have stick to do your that. finger in the hot water. Oh, okay. And there. Okay, that is looking really Look, good. Look, it's so neat. It looks like it is a professional. Where can I get look, these uh, so molds? professional. Oh, that does look good. Can I... You can get that oh. at... Um, where, where do you get those, Nikki? The cookie cutters. Nikki, somebody oh, in the kitchen. Yes, I, we got them at New York Cake and Bake. New York Cake and Bake. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Have I you ever been there? there? No, I haven't. Oh, you should go Can there. Can I do another one? Yeah, okay, please. Great. And you have to work fast because otherwise your ice cream will yeah. start to melt. Now, and what you should do then, in that case, put it right back in the freezer. Put it back in the freezer yeah. so that it'll so get that cold. So that it will get cold again. Yeah. Now, how... Uh, as soon as you make these, you put these in the freezer, wrapped in plastic wrap so that they won't get freezer burn. And you have real, I, this is a very nice, actually, for Valentine's Day, if you're having a party, this is great. Now, you know what it's great about? It's a what? great conversation piece. Yeah, it is. Give everybody those wax lips and try to see if they can eat their ice cream with the wax lips on. Yeah. It's yeah. quite a challenge. Or see if they can have a dinner conversation with those lips. What do you do with, like, uh, the leftover stuff? What? Like what? Um, well, like the like red the sort of dough. Can you make like little... Oh, uh, you keep rolling them out. Make some more. Okay. Now, you have a question for me. I keep... I well, keep... I'm always wondering what, what to do with leftover stuff. Like, for example... Uh, 
<laughs> Those, you know, when it? somebody sends you styrofoam peanuts? Yeah. Well, they know, don't send you styrofoam well, peanuts, hopefully. Oh, that's not the gift? No. <laughs> Do you ever look in them? Uh, <laughs> it's usually I don't know. in the styrofoam peanuts. Well, how there's usually you... something for you. How would you get rid of the peanuts, though? That's my biggest pet peeve, is having all those peanuts around. I'd rather not get the box of whatever it is if I have to deal with well, the stuff on peanuts. Well, you know what I use them for? I, and this is serious. I have big planters, you know, where I, there, where I plant my plants in the summertime? Yeah. Around my pool and in the, chair, in the terraces I know what you're stuff. talking about. I've seen those. Yeah. And so I fill them halfway with peanuts and then put a, fiber, a fibrous cloth. While, while you work, talk while you're working. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're right. But I've so, made, I've made four. I was waiting to, for you to catch up to okay. me. Okay. So, um, so that's what I do, and it keeps the so it keeps the planters uh, not so heavy. You, know? you put them actually right in the planters. In the, in the planters, and then I plant on top of them. But the problem is they're so hard to gather up. Oh, I know. They're a pain in the neck. So what do you got for that? Like a vacuum dust buster? No, no, no. No, a big scoop, use? like a chicken, a, a chicken feed scoop. Okay. It works well. You can get those at Agway or the feed barn. I've never heard of either one of those stores, but I'll look for it. Agway? Mm-hmm. Agway, it's very important. There. So look look how neat. Okay, start eating. What do you oh think? My God. It's good, right? It tastes just like a lip. <laughs> but it's so good. Have some. I, huh? Yeah, well, they're they're delicious. I think they're this the most beautiful and cutest. You know dessert. what I like to do? I like Kids to... will love these. The dark, rich flavors of a semi-sweet and unsweetened chocolate, rum and espresso, mingle wonderfully in this moist, flourless chocolate cake. I like to call it the Roberta Heart. It's named for my old friend, Roberta Kins, who once made 38 of these in one day for one of my catering jobs. After you see how easy it is to make, you'll understand how she could make so many. First thing to do is to melt the chocolate and we use one and a half tablespoons of espresso powder in six tablespoons of hot water. Stir that well and add that to 21 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, which had been broken up, and three ounces of unsweetened chocolate, just to add a little bit more depth of flavor. Put this over simmering water, so you've simulated a bain-marie, and stir it every so often until it melts smooth and glossy. Six tablespoons of dark rum added to your chocolate. Semi-sweet chocolate contains 60% chocolate liquor and 40% sugar. So let that sit there and melt just by itself. And now into nine large eggs, add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and whisk all together. And then you're gonna heat this also over simmering water until all the sugar is dissolved. And you're going to beat it until it's light and frothy. So just put your bowl right over simmering water. So we have the eggs warming. We have our chocolates melting. Now this is heavy cream, one and a half cups with a tablespoon of sugar and about a tablespoon of vanilla. This is whipped to a nice stiffness and this is going to be folded into the whole thing before we bake the Roberta Hart. I think the sugar is completely dissolved and now we can whip this on our stand mixer until it's light and frothy. This has to beat for approximately five minutes. So look what's happened to our eggs. It has tripled in volume. And I'm gonna add the chocolate. So this is like a cake when it's finally finished without any flour. This was one of our most popular and most asked for desserts when I ran my catering business, which was called the Uncatered Affair. The idea being that a hostess never had to say who had done all the cooking. And now fold in your whipped cream. Okay, so I can now pour this into our prepared pan. This is a 10 by two inch heart buttered and then lined with parchment paper. And then everything is buttered again. Make sure you've preheated your oven to 350 degrees. Now carefully place this in your roasting pan, at least two inches deep. This is going to be a water bath. Put boiling water so it comes about an inch up the pan. 
and then pop it into the oven for approximately one hour until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. When it comes out of the oven, let it cool in the water bath. When it is cool, refrigerate overnight. To release it from the pan, just put it back in a little bit of warm water and have your serving pedestal ready and some nicely whipped sweetened cream. If it's not releasing, you might loosen around the edges with a sharp knife, just the point, and then try again. Keeping your cool in the kitchen is extremely important. So now invert your platter over the heart. <gasps> How beautiful. And now remove the parchment from around the perimeter of your heart. You see how moist and chocolatey and gorgeous this is? Just brush away any crumbs. I'm going to pipe a beautiful ruffled edge all the way around with whipped cream. And this covers any unevenness. And then you can embellish your top and go in the opposite direction. So here you have a Roberta heart. So chocolatey, this will win the hearts of all your chocolate lovers. You want to make Brandy Alexander's? I would love to. Okay, so take some ice and okay. a big scoop and put okay. it in your, in your uh, shaker. Okie dokie. Okay. So we're just going to put that in here. Okay. Then we need um, one ounce of Kahlua, and I'll, I'll do mine first, and then okay. you'll do yours. That's like a half of this glass here. Okay. Thank you. Right on top of that ice. I love Kahlua. Don't you love Oh, the I love it. It's so delicious. It's like <gasps> and one it's ounce chocolate of brandy. Ice cream. Um, I like brandy, so I'm going to put more than an ounce. Okay. <laughs> uh, <it's from> recipes. <laughs> That's Drink true. Drink recipes. It's Here, all about Let me just give you a drop luck. more. Oh, yeah. thank you. There you go. I'll do. It. I'll and go too. <laughs> two ounces of heavy cream. This is the bad part. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's, doesn't it smell delicious? Oh, it smells delicious. It's like a dessert. I mean, this, yes. is, what, you know, this is what we would drink and, and then shake that up really well. Shake, shake, Get shake. it really cold. Yeah, really cold. And then you huh? just take that little top off and pour into your beautiful glass. Now, I always had mine in a small cut glass tumbler. I don't know why we're having it in a martini glass, but that's all right. Okay. And then... Looks pretty. A little tiny bit of nutmeg. You like nutmeg? Yes, love okay. nutmeg. A little bit of okay. nutmeg. And oops, sip that. Oh gosh, I'm, I haven't even had a drink yet. I'm <laughs> just about to spill. <laughs> Cheers to your well, collections. Well, salute yes. and to you. I'm back with Chef Michael Schulzen, and we're making raspberry chocolate kiss cocktails that are sure to get your Valentine's Day off to a great start. And we're making them uh, with vodka. That's so let's very get started on this okay. amazing drink. So now, are you going to serve this at the restaurant, this drink? Uh, no, because we're going to drink them all first. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to take 10 raspberries and put it in. Okay, I ate one of yours. Oh, oh wait. I ate one already. Okay, steal it back. All right, we're going to put a quarter cup of mint-infused simple syrup. I'm going to just taste that. Wes and Angie oh, made that. Very Wes and Angie did a great good job. job. And very we're good idea. It up. Okay. So this is a muddler. If you don't know what a muddler is, you should have one on your bar. Just go in and ask for a small. You should have a bar bat. first. <laughs> Joey, do you have a bar at your house? Yes, I do. You do. How many bars I have do the you greatest, have? The greatest muddler in the world. You do? Who's that? It's it's a Joey Cola muddler. Oh. I should come out with my own line of muddlers. That's you a should. good idea. Okay. All right, next we're going to put a little ice in there. Okay, how much ice? A scoop or a scant uh, scoop? About that. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And if you taste here, we have a little bit of a basil simple syrup. Oh, I want to taste that Which the guys one made too. in the back, too. Mm. Okay. Now we're going to take... I, I, you know, I love drinks with herbs in them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I started drinking them last summer. This would be great with some mm. fresh lemon juice. Oh, so good. Uh, and some vodka. So now Two tablespoons juice. of cranberry. And okay. two ounces of vodka. Okay, so we're using Imperia vodka. We just learned about this vodka. Yeah. It is delicious, and it's made in Russia. It's um, it's made according to Mendeleev's uh, real recipe for Tsar Nicholas the Third. How do you like that? Does it taste good? Wait till you taste. It's pure, two ounces. Pure, Come on. Pure, pure. There pure. we go. It is Valentine's Day. Pure, there. pure, pure vodka. And then we're going to shake it up. Mm. And if I get it on my pink shirt that I've never worn before, that's fine, because I probably won't wear pink again. You look good in pink. Well, thank you. Don't. 
Your wife is probably going to love it. Yeah. See, I'm an old cocktail shaker from me. Oh, there's your wife backstage. She... Oh, look. Hi. There she is, huh? <laughs> Okay. Now we're gonna dip it in simple now, syrup. Oh, we have to go like this somehow. This is the part I never know how to. Oh, never know how to. There, oh, we there go. I did it. Okay. And since we're making this kiss, it's supposed to taste like chocolate, so okay, we dip so it in the simple syrup. The, the Herbie syrup. Yep. Okay. And, and then we're gonna. Oh, oh. Bigger. And then we're gonna dip it in the chocolate. Chocolate three. Oh, these are chocolate cookies. Yes. Oh, the little thin wafers. And then we have a strainer wafers. here. <gasps> Look how so it's kind of like a uh, chocolate covered cherry this drink, but with raspberries. Mm. Chocolate covered raspberries. Mm. Oh boy. Now have at least one of these before dinner. Make and you sure know what? make sure you've cooked your dinner for your loved one first. And I even brought your Valentine's then have Day a drink. Gift. That's for you. Happy oh, Valentine's nice. Day. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Cheers. And to all of you, a very happy Valentine's Day. We'll be Cheers. right back. Cheers. You'll need two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature. And you can do this whole cookie by hand if you like. It's not very hard to beat um, if your ingredients are at room temperature, but they go very, very quickly too in the KitchenAid mixer or any electric mixer like this. That you'll smooth out with a paddle attachment to your mixer. Add two cups of all-purpose flour. There. And a third of a cup of heavy cream. and a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Very few ingredients and a pinch of salt. Just mix it up until you have a very nice smooth dough. And that's all it takes. So really, basically, four simple ingredients. Divide the dough in half and shape it into flat disks and wrap it in plastic. And you want to chill it till it's firm, about two to three hours. And the secret ingredient for these cookies is not the dough, although it is very tender and very delicious, but the secret ingredient is the sugar in which the dough is going to be rolled. It's this beautiful pink sugar called sanding sugar. It is very crystalline and very, very sparkly. To make a color, use a about a cup of sugar. You're gonna use about a cup or a cup and a third of actual sugar to roll this dough. And use a cherry pink powdered food coloring. Just use a little bit to start. That cherry pink will then very nicely tint your sugar. You can use yellow, you can use blue or green, but this color pink is so perfect for the traditional Valentine's cookie. So that's as simple as it is to make your own tinted sugars. Also have a heart-shaped cookie cutter. Oh, this is about an inch and a half across. And I have my baking sheet lined with the sill pad. Eliminates all buttering, all greasing the pan. And then you just roll your dough out in the sugar. No flour. And you can work on a breadboard or working on a marble surface like this is very good. I'll make sure your sugar is all mixed up. And you can just sprinkle more sugar on your dough as you roll. You want a lot of the sugar to be embedded into the dough. So there, I think we have rolled this dough to an appropriate thinness. And now just cut it out with your cookie cutters. You can do the heart shapes also with a knife and a paper cut out of a heart if you like. One recipe of this dough should yield about 72 cookies, which will make 36 sandwiches. And the cookies, once they're cut, should be put back into the refrigerator for at least 10 minutes to chill the dough before you bake them. And bake in a preheated oven at 325 degrees for approximately 15 minutes. So our first batch should be done by now. Oh, these look good. 
This is exactly the right color. Get them right off onto a rack. You can see the edges are just starting to color a little bit. And then we're gonna sandwich the cooled cookies together. A lot of you probably haven't even tasted red currant jelly. It's one of my favorites, but it is rather difficult to find in the store. So if you're in a specialty gourmet store, look for red currant jelly. We've used this kind, Emily Ridley's made in England, but here's what it looks like. It's such a great, great color. So fill now a pastry bag fitted with about a quarter inch tip. This is a number 11 tip. And you're just going to put a little bit of currant jelly in between the cookies. Now the tops of the cookies are the uh, part of the cookie that has a little bump on it. That you want on the outside. So just turn the cookie over and put a little currant jelly on the inside and just stick them together. Let them sit for a little while to stick together and then you can package up the cookies. So we're gonna use these little cardboard boxes, pretty colored wax paper, and you can tie it up with a little piece of wax string. And I just have to have a bite of our very beautiful and crunchy and sweet and delicious Valentine's Cream Hearts, our cookie of the week. In this mixer, we've already creamed together some butter and some shortening. So six tablespoons butter, one tablespoon plus one and a half teaspoons of shortening. Yeah, and we're gonna, okay. what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this together, um, add the sugar in, and you're gonna get a nice ribbony texture. Now I just asked Matt what kind of shortening he is using, using and he uses Crisco that is non-trans fat. So Absolutely. make sure you buy the non-trans fat. You don't want trans fat, it tastes good. Mayor Bloomberg will get mad at you. Yeah, we'll Dude. have problems later on down the line. That's right. All right, so we're just gonna get this together for about five minutes, and because, again, okay. we're short on time, we're okay. gonna come right over to this guy. And before we do that, I'm gonna have you bloom this cocoa with some hot water. Okay, a quarter of a cup of, and, uh, of cocoa powder and a quarter of a cup of water. And what this does, this really brings out that chocolatey flavor. Mm, yes. If you don't do this, you're gonna get a, a kind of bitter taste. Yep. And then my favorite part is adding the red food coloring. If you don't mind, I'm gonna put this right in here. Okay. And we're gonna mix this up. Red velvet cake traditionally Two was... tablespoons of red food I'm coloring. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to mention that. I know. Uh, but what you're gonna do is the traditional red velvet cake was red from the cocoa. We kind of bump it up a little bit of a notch, add some red food coloring so it's really bright red when you come out of the oven. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside to cool. What about the vanilla? Um, well, the vanilla and the buttermilk are gonna go in after it's Afterwards. cool. Afterwards, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on. This is that mixture that we started over there with the yep. sugar and it's beat up. Very smooth now. Yeah, okay. and I'm gonna go ahead and add some eggs one at a time. And when the eggs go in, you want them to kind of mix completely before you add the next one, all right? Okay. And this is delicious. And now that it's all in there, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this guy up. And we're gonna get a nice, smooth mixture. Okay, so this is pretty, this is, is completely cool? dissolved. It looks really good. So yeah. why don't, while this is mixing. Add the buttermilk. Let's add the buttermilk. So one cup of buttermilk. You use a lot of buttermilk in your cakes. Oh, well, buttermilk is such a nice, rich ingredient. Yep, I'd use, actually use more He uses if I buttermilk, he uses sour cream, he uses. Crisco, uh, I'm not scared of fat. Yeah. Bring it on in. And how much vanilla? You know what, just eyeball it. A Put teaspoon? It, I like a teaspoon, but I like a little more vanilla in okay. my stuff. There we go. All right, so while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put some salt into my flour mixture. And this is cake flour. It's two and a half cups of cake flour. Non-self-rising. Non-self-rising. And you're just going to kind of sift this with the whisk. And what we're going to do is alternate the dry with the okay. wet. I'm going to start with so the dry. I can do that on this if side. If you go on one side, I'll go on the other. Yep. And what we've done in this bowl, we're going to put a little bit of baking soda. It's one taste teaspoon and one teaspoon of the cider vinegar. And what you're gonna get is kind so of like- So cider vinegar in here, ah. Oh, yeah, a little, little chemical reaction. Yeah. All right, stir this guy up really good. And- it Smells delicious, by the way. Definitely. And this gets dumped right into the cake batter. Okay. All right. Now, because we're making a heart cake, we're gonna put this mixture into a pan that's lined with parchment paper and buttered and floured and we're gonna put it in for 325 degrees between 20 and 30 minutes. I wanna know what you do with all the scraps. Uh, we eat the scraps. You do? Anytime, oh, anytime there's a scrap at the bakery, I put it right in my mouth. I, I can't control <laughs> myself. 
It's, but this is actually a really delicious red velvet cake. And look at the batter, everybody. Isn't that great? Well, we're going to get this in the oven. Taste this. Oh, but it's good. And mm. you just have a little bit of ground mm. cinnamon to your buttercream. It kind of is like, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Very good. And what we're, we're going to do is we're going to crumb coat this baby right now. Okay. So just a little bit. And you just want to push it out. Crumb coating really keeps it nice and neat. Um, you don't need a huge bunch of icing on top of it. Oh, so this is the filling right now? Yeah, this is the oh. filling. We're just going to give this a nice little batch here. So you're going to need... Um... And we're going to need another heart. Did you cut okay. one out? I did indeed. Oh, my gosh. Here's one for you. And I'll try not to eat this as I put it on the cake. You're going to flip this over, invert it, put it on top. Press it down just a little bit. We're not trying to, you know, really squish this up. And we're going to take another batch of this frosting. And oh, so upside down? Yeah, put it okay. upside down. It makes the surface nice and flat. Okay. All right. So again, we're just going to push the frosting out to the edges of the cake. And the reason we use this bowl is because we are going to get crumbs, hence the name crumb coat. Right. So as we ice the cake, you're going to see little every bits Every cake crumbs. I've ever made, I crumb coat. I mean, every wedding cake especially, because you just don't want. A one crumb will ruin the whole appearance. And you know what? Afterwards, you can eat the crumbs. You really can. A nice big bowl of icing and crumbs. Oh, stop it. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of heavenly. All right, so. Um, and the many... whole idea is to go all the way around the cake with a nice thin coat, and we've actually got some prepared here. Okay. So, um, but do you chill this uh, before you? You want to chill this for about 10 yeah. minutes. It gets it nice and um, set. Yeah, once it's crumb coated. Actually, if you're going to make a lot of these for presents, uh, you should crumb coat them and uh, put them in the fridge. Put and them in the fridge. You can, and you know what? If there, if there's no problem if you actually leave it in there for more than 10 okay. minutes. So now um, we'll, we'll just... I'm going to take this guy, which has been chilling for about 10 minutes, and you kind of see the nice heart shape. It's real important when you crumb coat this guy that you keep that heart shape intact. Mm. And we're going to switch bowls, because in this bowl, we have the crumbs. I'm licking everything. Oh, I love this frosting, you guys. And we're going to just dab on. Do you need a, a non-crummy I Oh, yeah, thank thing. you. You want to wipe that off? Thank you very much. OK, so we'll continue. We'll, fin we'll finish all this. Don't worry. We're not going to waste anything. No, and we're going to eat these afterwards. OK. All right. So, so um, if you so guys. So now what's your buttercream made out of? The buttercream is really nice farm fresh butter. We have, um, we actually cook it. It's a cooked buttercream as opposed to just a beaten Oh, so you make a sugar syrup? A nice, yeah, nice sugar syrup. Uh-huh. Okay. And we use this as the base of all of our frostings. You can put spices in here, whatever you want to put in here, and it will add a whole dimension to your flavor. I like the idea that you put cinnamon in it. Yeah, I love the cinnamon. And we're just going to keep going up and down the cake until we get a nice, fun heart shape like those conversation hearts. As we go around, you can keep turning this. If you have a Lazy Susan at your house, this will make it much, much well, easier. If you do a lot of cakes, and, or even just a cake a month, you should get one of these. There's, yeah, there's no reason not to have one of these guys. Cake stands, because they, um, they are fantastic. And you keep, keep it right out on your counter and keep stuff on it. I keep salt and pepper on mine when I'm not using it for cake decorating. <clears throat> now, if you guys order this from Baked, we will not put anything um, sexy on the cake, but if you guys put this at home, you could write whatever you guys want on your heart cake at home. You so, won't even if we order it? No. I might put something sexy, but I don't want to go too far. You know, I don't know who you're giving this to or if you're giving them out to more than one person. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and snip off. In here, all this is is melted chocolate. This melted chocolate is perfect to write with on these heart cakes. Okay. Snip them off at the very end, right there. And I don't know what we're going to put on this Yours cake. Yours doesn't look nice enough. Why? Well, I, I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> You can't, you can't put a name on that. Oh, come on now. I have to get mine much nicer than that. Well, she's, you know. Joey's rushing us over he's here. Are you going to rush us, here? Joey? I am. All right, what should we put on this, guys? How we're about be mine? So we're just going to nice okay. and gently write be mine. I'm going to write heartthrob. Oh, see, I wouldn't <laughs> write that. Why not? Well, maybe I would. Heartthrob? I mean, for heaven's sake, that's, oops. That's right, a very guys. modest thing. I think I cut too much of this cornet. Yeah, yours is, that's. But you know what? I'm going to eat this right away so nobody will even see it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions about this, it's on MarthaStewart.com. John George says this uh, simple moist chocolate cake is the dessert of choice at his house. <laughs> and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Look how 
beautiful that is. And it's rich. And it's, you can eat it with cream, without cream. With cream, without cream. With ice cream, without yes. cream. Whatever the topping you want to put on top. <gasps> so yeah. fantastic. It's, it's very rich, but okay. it's fairly simple to do. So we, we're using uh, about three and a half ounces of uh, bittersweet chocolate. So what, what kind of chocolate do you use? I, use, I like to use a Varona. Okay. 70% cocoa butter. Mm -hmm. I'm using four tablespoons of butter. And we're just going to melt this together okay. over a double boiler. There we go. Okay. We have some already uh, melted here. Oh, it's melted. Yeah, okay. it's already melted. I'm going to start whipping my egg whites. How many egg whites? Three. Okay. So we have uh, the chocolate here, which is melted with the butter. I'm going to add one egg yolk at a time. One just to tap out the chocolate. Then we're going to so you're two. a chef, but do you also like to bake or? At home. Yeah. You know, on the weekend, I love, I love to do pastries and uh, desserts. And I think, you know, it's different at uh, the restaurant. People want a lot of presentation. At home, it's just it's something very simple for, for the family, you know. So I'm adding here half a cup of uh, confectioner sugar. Okay. A Do you teaspoon think that, is of that, flour. Is that beaten enough? A little, a little tiny bit more. On a half a cup of almond flour. Oh, almond flour. Yeah. Okay. It keeps the, the cake very moist. So we just mix that all together. So it's almost a flourless cake. Yeah. A Not tiny little quite. bit of flour. Yeah. Tiny bit. And then we can add a the egg whites spoon. into it. So um, tonight at the restaurants, any trend, anything happening that's it's unusual? Ma it's madness. It's madness on uh, Valentine's. You know, everybody. Course, last minute, friends and friends, family. They forgot, they forgot, they forgot to make a, yeah, is that, is that good now? They want a table, that's good, yeah. Okay. They want a table. They want a table now, so we, we usually reserve some. And sometimes we just create tables, like for the people with band. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm adding a little bit of a, the egg white. Start to, so look how easy this is. Now how long does this bake? It bakes for about 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. so really and truly, 17, 20 minutes. Um, if you can't get a reservation at Jean Georges tonight or <laughs> <laughs> at ABC Kitchen or any one of the other many restaurants, you could actually make this at home tonight. You could. <laughs> yeah, these are really, it's really yeah. lovely. And all the recipes in the book are, are just, um, I, I like the chicken and vinegar. Yeah, That's one a, of my favorite things. Yeah, it's just so lovely. That's what I like to do at home. You know, it's really a one pot meal. You know, I put everything in the middle of the table, have people serve themselves. Yeah. So you mix all that together. And Chandra just bought a, a building, um, a famous old inn, the Pound Ridge Inn. The Pound Ridge Inn. In, uh, in Pound pretty Ridge. Pretty close from uh, both of us. It's like 10 minutes from my house. <laughs> when is it going to open? It will probably open in the fall, in September. Oh, I cannot yeah. wait. We so need we'll... another fine restaurant up there, and yeah. it's going to be fabulous. It's so exciting. So here I have a little pan with butter and flour. Yeah. I'm adding my chocolate mixture. So just buttered, buttered and floured. That's it. Well, a little, we're bake it. Is that like an eight-inch um, quiche pan? That's correct. Okay. Eight inch. So look how simple that is. It's really bake for, simple. No, oh, delicious. Here we are. And then you bake it. Mm. Fantastic. Fairly simple. Huh? 350 degrees for 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Okay. You know, you put, put a knife in there. If it removes clean, okay. it's cooked. It's okay. baked. We're gonna make that. Let it cool for try? 10 minutes. And is this cocoa on top? And then cocoa powder on top. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm on a little tiny taste. Yeah. Yeah. So we're creaming one stick of butter. Okay. Okay, at room temperature with one quarter cup of sugar. This is a, um, a very nice um, cookie dough. We're making the vanilla cookie. Uh, and uh, you add the hugs. Yeah, you add. You can you can uh, sift again since now you're an expert. I'm a, a quarter, sifter. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt add to that. Oh, I'm okay. adding one egg. Just one of these. Yeah. And the baking powder. How All much? Right. How much does it say in there? Uh, half a teaspoon. Okay. All of it. You have to knock it out. Get it all in there. See, this is why baking gets me in trouble. I cook a lot. Yeah. So like, you're this and that. It's right? not as precise. Right. Yeah. yeah baking this is, is very an exact science. Yeah. And well, because uh, the finished product works better if it's exact. I mean, right. if you add too much flour, you're going to get too heavy a thing. Right. Or you're too dry, and you won't be able to roll it out. Okay? I got into this thing where I make my wife's birthday cake from scratch every year. Oh. I did it one year. So I was like, oh, isn't that romantic? You are a baker. It takes me so long because I have to redo everything twice. Oh. Yeah. Like the, the frosting will when, be what off. What month is her birthday? August. Oh, same yeah, so as mine. Yeah, I'm all sweaty. Same as mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then it's hard. It's hard with the humidity of August. I know. Do you have an air-conditioned kitchen? Uh, I, yeah, we yeah, do. But then we good. then I tried a box cake one year, and she was very angry. What's a box cake? 
Well, like a mix, like from a box. Oh my God. Yeah, you would have been mad too. Watch my baking show. <laughs> All right. I will be very helpful to you. All right, good. You'll get me through okay. this one. So there's your batter. Uh -huh. Really, cookie dough. It's not a really batter a batter, up. it's a cookie dough. So now we have it chilled, we made it into a nice rectangle. You have the chocolate, uh -huh. I have the vanilla, and notice we're rolling right out on the sill pad. Uh, okay. This is the baking, this is the baking silicone coated right. pad that you don't you don't have to use butter or grease or anything. Uh, okay. It's that's really, pretty great. See, we bake right on it. Uh -huh. You don't have one of those? No. Oh. Well. Now I'm going to. You must to. get one. And then, I hope there's no security here. And I'm then, take it. <laughs> you know what? If if this is a successful segment, if you cut out those chocolate cookies, you're going to get one. Yeah. Yeah. And see what it is? It's Martha Stewart collection. Oh, I so, know her. Yeah. So my name is on there, <laughs> and you can't get away from me. You'll have it in your kitchen. So That's see good. how I'm rolling? Yes. But you're not. Well, because I don't want to hit your hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll move. I don't want to hurt you. No, you won't. Uh, Not too hard. Oh. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Why? What happens well, when you do it too hard? Well, because then you're, you know, what's the sense? Just roll it out evenly and lightly. See, that's yeah. That's a that's a guy thing. It's just yeah. like I'm just gonna do it. No, but then, but you squash it. You don't have to. See, gotcha. I want I want it all one thickness. I see. Okay, so it's a little less than an eighth of an inch thick when you're finished. Right. Okay, but see how easy it is. Yeah. It's not cracking. It's not falling all over no, the place. No, a piece of cake. Yeah. Nice. I keep saying that, and it's so cool. It's a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've already cut out your kisses. Now you make you do your hugs. And uh, yeah. I am now these. I think these are from the children's baking kit. Oh, really? <laughs> Not positive, but I have a feeling. Uh huh. I went on your website is. last night because yeah. I knew I was coming in, and my kids saw that we were going to make these cookies. Oh, do they want a the little box of them? Oh boy. Okay. If that's I don't good. bring them home, they're going to be. So, put, oh, so do it a little harder here. Just do it down here. Okay. A little bit. Okay, and then you can press this out. I'll um, press out the middle of the. Oh. And then you can make these. You can bake those for the children. Well, let's not get crazy. <laughs> Well, why not? <laughs> Children deserve everything, right? They do. They're the coolest. They are. How many? How old are yours? Five and eight. Oh, lovely. You know what would be a good app? What? If you could come up with an app that answers my five-year-old's question, why? <laughs> Every time I do anything, why? That's... I'm going to go to Martha Stewart today. Why? That's right. Uh, why? Because we're going to bake some cookies. Why? <laughs> if you could have an app that I just press and the answer is all those whys. Okay. Well... Those questions are really good questions, and you and you do have answers. You must have patience and take the time to answer them. I make up a lot of the answers. That's okay. Yeah, and they really because I'm a comedian. Funny. They never. They always. I'll answer them, and then they just go, they, "Mom." Yeah. Why? Is he, is he telling the truth? <laughs> <laughs> so preheat your oven for these cookies to 350. Uh, rotate halfway through. Right. And um, and then oh, before you put them in the oven, sprinkle with this sanding sugar. Okay. Ooh. Sprinkle just a little Those are bit. Pretty. Yeah, it makes them glisten. Nice. And uh, you want to taste one of these? Yes, please. There, just taste one of those. You want chocolate? You want a heart? I mean, a hug or a kiss? I'm gonna take the kiss. Okay, I'll take a, a, a um, hug. Oh, perfect. This nice, is my huh? kind of cookie. These are meringue cupcakes with a raspberry puree and raspberries. Mm. Look what's inside: whipped cream and uh, raspberries. We have six egg whites in here, and you could add the sugar little by little. Uh, three, um, excuse me, one and three quarters cups of sugar, and just add that in. We're going to put a little bit of vinegar, one teaspoon of white vinegar, into the meringue. Good. A half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of best vanilla. So you're not cooking at all, really. You're writing songs. <laughs> Is your wife cooking? Oh yeah, she's yeah. a great cook. Well, you can add that faster now. Okay. You just sort of break up the egg whites a little bit first, and then as they get frothier, you add the sugar a little more quickly. And you beat it and beat it and beat it until they really get a lot of volume. So now just a drop or two of food coloring, and it will turn a real pretty pink like this. So you have a piping bag there. Okay. And just pull this out like that. Yeah, and then squeeze only with one hand, like up here. Okay. Yeah, hold it like that. Are you right-handed? I am. Okay, so you squeeze from this hand and you point with this hand. Okay. And these are already um, uh, sprayed. They're two little paper cups and they're sprayed with vegetable spray so they don't stick. Okay. And then you go into the bag. Just remember, squeeze only with that one hand. Everybody's tempted and fill this up to the top and then make a little peak. 
And the reason we're putting them far apart so they don't touch each other. These get baked in the oven. Oh, that at good. a very low temperature, 225 for about uh, three hours or three and a half hours. And you don't want the, to get these brown, so keep that oven really low. And we have to make a raspberry curd to go inside, okay. which is like a raspberry sauce, like a lemon curd. Mm -hmm. It's um, more like a sauce. And so there's four egg yolks, and you can um, just add that sugar in here, and we'll stir that in. This is an easy curd because you mix everything in at once. And a pinch of salt. Always a pinch and a quarter cup of lemon juice. Yes. And this, uh, hmm. get that cooking. And this, I don't know why the sugar is in two different parts, but just add that too. One and a quarter, I think that quarter cup of sugar, save a quarter cup, because I think I was supposed to mix that into the creme fraiche. So one and a quarter cups of sugar, not a quarter of a cup, into the four egg yolks. Okay, this gets real creamy, that's oh, okay. good. Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> and the raspberries. They get, just dump them in. Just dump them in, it's okay. They're gonna get nice and mushed up and all the butter. So it's one whole stick of butter, here's a little. And that's good. And just cook this until it's actually thick over um, a bain-marie. Cook and cook. And then you'll pass it through a strainer so that you won't have any of the seeds. And uh, you'll have to get it nice and cool. You can get it cool over ice water, or you can get it, uh, or you can just refrigerate it. But see how it all gets mushed up? Mm -hmm. And it'll get nice and thick. I'll turn this down, because we have one that's already done. So this is the sugar for the creme fraiche. Two cups of creme fraiche. And you can use whipped cream if you like. So here <laughs> you have your... Um, little cupcake, okay? okay. And uh, take one of the papers off. You can take the other paper off if you, uh, if you want. You can leave it on too, but just try to peel it off as gently as you can. Pull that off. It's good to get this off. But it, what's cute about this is that it actually, um, oops, I'm gonna leave this one on. This one is, this one is acting up. You, oh, you got yours out perfectly. So now you take this little saw. This is from our pumpkin carving kit. Okay. <laughs> If you don't have this, you can use a tiny serrated knife uh, and just saw the top off right, right here. Okay. Okay, just stick it in like that and go around like that, all the way around without, oops, without breaking it like I just did. Okay? Here's, yeah. And so here's one for you. Here, use this one because okay. that one got a little crunched. And I'll use this one. And then you can fill that with um, a little bit of the raspberry curd like that, and some of those beautiful red raspberries. Does it matter which one goes first? No, whatever you want. I think these have to be cooked a little longer. These are a little wet inside. There. So a little bit of the curd, a little bit of the cream, some of the raspberries, like that. And you have a utterly delectable dessert. Here, we'll start over here because okay. these are the these are the first. We have templates online uh, for these little color, you, you, you get your kids just to color in the cute little labels. There's, of course, uh, the little monkey and the star and lots of little circles and um, let them color them in. Do you have kids? One. A One. Son, three How old? Three. Three. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I know Perfect. this is, I, this is and so then belly. so then these you just, you just cut, you know, in half like this. And so, and fold it in half, and you send. And your son, does he have a little friends that he wants to send Valentines to? He does. Is he allowed to eat candy at three? You Not know, really. Oh, I know. I should. I know. know. Well, I, I pretend I don't know when he and his daddy eat the. This this actually is like this would be their idea of heaven. I bet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I pretend not to know though. I give him. You know. Now you're a crafter. I am. You yes. Like, what do you make? Oh my! You know, actually. Um, Whatever inspires me, um, painting, uh, scrapbooking. I love. I actually love your scrapbooking um, stuff. Oh yes, yeah, I do. I like it because it's so um, it's simple, but it it really goes to complement your archives. The things that you're instead of making it all about that, it's about your pictures and your right, memories. Right. Right. Yeah, so, so we, we like making memories, and, uh, very and, and nice. it is indeed a nice thing to do. And so okay. you have a little cellophane bag like this. Okay. Just fold down the tops three times, or four times, whatever whatever works for the amount of candy that you have. And using 
I like to use this double stick tape because it uh, really holds and you don't see it on the cellophane and just secure the top. And then put your little label on like this. Isn't that cute? That and you have a little gift. Cute. And this too, you just put a piece of double stick tape. Oops, I'm getting too long. Okay. Right here in the top. Two pieces actually on either side and just stick this on. Um, and uh, if your your son wants to give it to, you know, all his little friends, a little, just a little gift bag. You don't give him this. This is a gumball. Don't yeah. choke on it. Three years old. Yes. <laughs> but they're very charming. And uh, there's all kinds of little, little things that you can uh, put into the bags. And uh, yeah, look how cute. And so this is another idea over here. <laughs> At Staples, now, we have a, a line of home slash office uh, boxes and things. These are shagreen. They're, they're a textured paper that look like the shark skin, the very it's expensive really shark skin. So I thought, what a beautiful present for teachers or yes. for uh, special special people. Uh, you can put the candy in a, in a cellophane bag like this. You can just put it right in the box if you like or um, uh, line it with tissue. And you have you have the different size, the long box. Okay. And I'm going to put so I get these. To pick? Yeah, whatever, whichever candy. Fill those little little uh, squares. And each box, each layer, or each little square will be a, a specific kind of candy. And this looks so pretty, like this. Fold it up. And it looks like it comes from like the best store, don't you think? It it really does. And these stack. Look at look at this. They're engineered to uh, sit right inside one another. I love these boxes. And these are what you use on your desk for your, for your um, uh, little paper clips, for whatever, whatever little thing, extra coins. And then this is called an X band. This is a band that's in the shape of an X and it goes around boxes very nicely. So uh, you just put this one way and then the other way, the opposite direction. Like this. Do any of you have these X bands any place? Instead of using two bands, it holds it in place. And then this little label is um, part of it. Uh, and you can write on there anything you like. But look at that, it holds it so nicely. We always are looking for new ways to package Valentine's Day sweets. And this year we've created a cute way to give your Valentine his or her favorite candies. And at the same time, heart-shaped cookie cutters. So um, very easy to do. If you have a tin or a box um, or even one of those clear plastic containers, you can uh, arrange some heart-shaped cookie cutters. Takes a little doing to get these all in. I don't know if I'll get all of them in. I'll try. There, that's good. And you can actually put one right in the middle. And then fill with your favorite candies. These are Cherry Lovers Cherry Colas. That goes right here. And these are, oh, I love lava balls. Fill that with lava balls. All these candies are made by a company called Gimbals. And uh, everyone in the audience is taking home a bag of Cherry Lovers. <laughs> these are great because they're uh, peanut free, they're tree nut free, they're gluten free, they're dairy free, they're egg free and trans fat free. So um, you, you can serve them to your kitties um, pretty safely. And here we go with, oh, these are called Cherry Lovers Kiwi Cherry. Those are, those are actually very pretty. And then fill the um, spaces with, oh, I think I'll do jelly beans. And I think, I, oh, actually now I can fit another heart in here and I will do these. These are called Cherry Lovers Cherry Vanillas. Oh, I love all these. And so, you know, everybody needs um, heart-shaped cookie cutters and you can find them um, at, uh, in different cooking stores, um, all the different shapes and sizes of the cookie cutters. And now fill in all the way around with jelly beans. Don't mix up the candies. You don't want jelly beans in with your with your uh, cherry colas, it's not good. Or your Joey colas, don't ever mix anything with cherry cola, with uh, Joey colas. So there, once the box is filled, just cover it, tie it with a beautiful ribbon, and uh, give it for a happy Valentine's Day. We'll be right back. <laughs>